Hello, my name is Brendan. I'm from Bluffton, Indiana, and I studied abroad in Salamanca, Spain. If you guys haven't already, please check out my first video that I made about traveling in Spain. But today I want to share with you guys another three tips that you can use if you're thinking about studying abroad in Spain about housing and day-to-day -day activities. Most study abroad companies will give you two choices in terms of lodging, one being an apartment and the other being a homestay with a family. I personally chose homestay because I wanted to integrate myself a bit more into Spanish life and I thought it would help my Spanish. A lot of my friends chose to live in apartments because they wanted a little more independence and an easier way to meet international students. I personally don't think there is a right or wrong answer in picking one. If if you are considering homestay, my advice to you would be this. Don't be nervous. I was really nervous thinking about living with a family, getting used to their customs, maybe having uh, trouble with language and thinking that my Spanish might not be good enough. However, after already having done the homestay, I can say that it was a great choice and it provided a lot of benefits. Speaking with my host mom definitely improved my Spanish a lot. And living there, I also got to learn a lot of the Spanish customs firsthand, which is great. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is how to get money in Spain. Before going to Spain, I wasn't even sure if I was going to have to open a bank account there or bring lots of cash before I came. I had no idea. So my second tip for you guys today would be to go to your local bank, go to where you bank and ask them how to avoid things like high ATM fees, how to get money, what's the best way where you can still save money without getting charged high fees. Also, if you're using a debit or credit card, you're going to want to let your bank know or your credit card companies know which countries you'll be in so that they don't lock your card. For traveling to Spain, I would recommend getting some euros from the bank. A lot of my friends and I showed up with a a couple hundred euros and I think that's probably a good choice although it's up to you. Most Spaniards and over a lot of Europe people use cash to pay so what I did was drew money out of the ATM and then would pay cash. When switching over to dollars to euros you might be surprised how much euro coins are worth and so you're gonna wanna have to have a place to store those safely like in a, in a wallet, in a pouch, or in your purse somewhere because you'll definitely be using coins if you decide to usually pay with cash. This all of course leads me into my next point which is shopping while you're abroad. Not gonna lie, you can get very cool clothes and shoes especially in Spain at very good prices. If you want to look like a Spaniard and fit into the society a little bit better, it might be smart to go and buy some clothes right when you get there. But this doesn't mean you should go on a shopping spree budget your money. Coming from the US, I wasn't really sure what to expect um, in terms of shopping abroad because in the US a lot of times we'll buy our clothes from malls so we'll have one big area where we go inside and buy clothes. However in Spain stores tend to be a lot more specialized. For example when I wanted to buy my school supplies I went to an actual shop that sold stuff for students that were looking to just get school supplies right before school started. Two places I would share with you guys if you're looking to buy clothes are Zara or Zara as they would say in Spain and also H&M which we have in the US and they're also all over Europe. If you're looking for a store that might sell a lot of different types of things probably the best thing you'll find in Spain are called the Carrefour markets. They mostly sell food at these markets but you can also find other things as well. Like I said, please make sure that you guys have watched my first video where I give credit to where credit is due for those who have made it possible for me to study abroad, like Generation Study Abroad, for this scholarship. And also guys, stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to give you another three tips about studying abroad in Spain. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And as they say in Spain, hasta luego.